Hafidain, welcome back. Thanks for tuning into Fiesta Friday. Merging Continental and United Airlines may have been a bumpy ride, but United's chairman, president, and CEO Jeff Smizek says it's only up from here. Crystal Paco sat down with him. Here's that interview. Hafidain, I'm Crystal Paco, and I'm sitting here with United's Chairman, President, and CEO, Jeff Smizek. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. So first off, what is United's current strategy for Guam and the rest of Micronesia? Well, you know, we've been in Guam and the, and the Micronesia area for many, many years, and it's an important part of our Pacific presence. We're a huge airline in the Pacific. Uh, we're the largest airline, uh, U.S. airline to China, for example. Um, so Guam's uh, integral to uh, what we offer our customers throughout the Pacific region. So with that said, tell us about Guam's importance as the ten, one of the 10 global hubs? Well, we have, we have eight hubs in the United States, uh, ringing uh, the uh, United States, uh, plus a couple of uh, central hubs with Denver and Cleveland and Chicago. Um, uh, we have Guam here, and of course, uh, we have Narita. Uh, so it's important to us because we can offer a huge amount of, uh, of uh, usually a large number of seats to uh, people here in Guam who want to go, for example, through Narita. We offer, uh, I think, nine destinations today out of Narita. Uh, so we're sort of one stop to the world through Narita. Plus, of course, we've, we've expanded uh, the seats here. I think we've added about 100,000 more seats a year to Guam since we merged. So uh, it's pretty exciting for us. So you just mentioned about adding more seats. How, how do you see it? United expanding in the next 10 years? Well, it depends on demand. Uh, you know, Guam is uh, very heavily dependent on tourism, and uh, within that, very heavily dependent on the Japanese economy. Uh, the Japanese economy is actually doing well now. Uh, the yen has, uh, has depreciated, uh, but most of, our, most of our Japanese customers buy their tickets and tour packages at a fixed yen price uh, months in advance, so they're not that much affected by the, by the depreciation of the yen. Lots of people, including myself, are really interested to see a direct flight from Guam to the U.S. without having a stop in Hawaii. Is that something we could see in the future? You know, it really depends upon the level of demand. Uh, everybody would like a, a nonstop to lots of destinations. And, you know, we've got about 700 mainline airplanes. Uh, sounds like a lot. It is a lot. Uh, but there are also a lot of competing demands for those airplanes. And we're trying to operate uh, this airline as a business as opposed to an airline. Mm -hmm. For far too long, airlines were not, not operating as businesses. They lost money, they went bankrupt. It's just a terrible thing for everyone, for customers, for, for coworkers. Uh, so we try to put the airplanes where we believe they'll make the most money. If in the future we think a nonstop from Guam to LA or Guam to SFO for San Francisco, for example, uh, would make more money than taking that airplane and putting it somewhere else, sure, we'd be happy to do it. So we've heard a lot about customer service suffering as a result of the merger with Continental and United. What's your response to this? Well, typically in a merger, customer service does suffer, and it certainly did for us. Um, we've taken a lot of actions to fix that. We've uh, not only are we are, have we provided very advanced technology tools for our coworkers. Uh, we've we've also provided them really good training. We're training 48,000 people across the globe in customer service. Every single agent at the airport, every single uh, reservationist. Every single flight attendant, not only at United, but each of our uh, express uh, uh, partners as well. We're about two-thirds through that training. Um, we have also provided incentives to folks. Uh, and importantly, we're also going to hold our people accountable when they're not giving good customer service. So we're very focused on improving our customer service. And it has improved dramatically from the depths of last summer, which was a bad summer, admittedly. Um, our, our customer satisfaction metrics are up fivefold. Uh, since then, and they continue uh, to improve, and we expect them to continue to improve. It's customer service. This is a service business. It's really important to give good customer service, uh, and we're very focused on, on delivering that, and, and it's clearly improving. Awesome. So in November 2012, United issued furlough notices to employees in reservation and passenger services. Those furloughs were effective January of this year, and according to Koji Nagata, he told KUAM that United is currently reorganizing its contact center, cargo, and airport operation functions on Guam as part of company-wide initiatives to increase efficiency and profitability. What is the current status of the reorganization, and what are we going to see? Are we going to see additional furloughs? Well, what, uh, what we're talking about is trying to operate this as a business. Mm -hmm. For far too long, airlines lost money, they went bankrupt, they laid off huge numbers of people as a result. 
uh, really was disturbing for, for coworkers, disturbing for customers. You couldn't rely on airlines to be there tomorrow. What we're trying to do is operate this as a business, and to do that, you need to become more efficient. Now, unfortunately, sometimes that results in, in, in activities that we do ourselves being um, uh, conducted by a third party at a, at, a, at, a, at, a, at a rate that's lower than we can do it ourselves. Um, and so that has, that has resulted in, in, in some uh, modest amount of job reductions here in Guam. Um, I don't know what the future holds any more than you do. We, knew, we do need to operate the business effectively and we do need to operate as efficiently. But all things being equal, we'd rather not outsource. I mean, all things being equal, we don't. That disturbs people's lives, results in, in, in people moving around the system because we have seniority rights, people mm -hmm. bumping around the system. We don't, we don't like doing it. But on the other hand, the alternative sometimes in not doing it is having a business that doesn't work and can't, in effect, uh, protect the jobs of, of, of the vast number of other uh, uh, co-workers at the company. You're Again, that was Crystal Paco with CEO and President of United Airlines, Mr. Jeff Smizek. Stay tuned. We'll close out the show when we return.